In this video, I want to show you how to take a random sampling of data uh, from a large amount of data. So let's say we have a large list of data like this, and you need to do a random sampling, maybe for quality assurance or for other reasons. Now to do this one, we have to have uh, something special on the data menu. So I'm going to pick up the data menu, and over here on the right hand side, I'm looking for the data analysis tools. So let me show you how to turn on the data analysis tools. We'll pick on the file menu and I'll pick on the word options at the bottom. And then these are called add-ins. So I'll pick on add-ins. And then what you do is you come down here and you pick on the word go. And then what you want to do is you want to pick where it says analysis tool pack and then click on OK. Now notice on the data menu, now I have something that's called data analysis. So let's go ahead and click on data analysis. And then you'll get this window which has many data analysis tools. Now I probably have other videos about some of the other data analysis tools. But let's scroll down and we'll pick up the word sampling and we'll pick on OK. Now the input range always has to be a listing of numbers. So if you notice, I'm going to highlight column E. Column E is all numbers. And that's what the input range is looking for, all numbers. Now, if you look at column E, the top cell has a label. So for that reason, we'll pick on the word labels. The input range wants numbers only, but it'll make one exception if that column has a label like this one does. Now, notice what it says, random number of samples. And I'm going to click there and type in 10. Let's say out of that big list of numbers, I want to return 10 random numbers. So we're going to put the result in a new worksheet. So for the input range, I have column E. Column E does have labels, as you can see right there. So that's important that you would check that. Uh, we're going to do random number of samples, and I have 10. Of course, you would type in whatever number that you wanted to there. And then we're going to put it into a new worksheet. Let's see what happens. I'm going to click on OK. And now it went through all of those numbers and it returned 10 random numbers. So watch again. You have this big list of data. And in this case, I showed you how to turn on the data analysis tools. So I'll pick on the word data analysis and we'll pick on sampling. Uh, the input range is going to be column E because that's all numbers. And that's what the input range is looking for. Uh, column E does have a label up at the top, so make sure you pick up the right labels. This time, let's get 20 random numbers. That's a sample, and then I'll click on OK. And now it returned 20 different numbers. Now, if I look at the first time that we did it, it returned 10 random numbers, and then the second time I did it, it's 20 completely different numbers. So each time that you do that, you are, you are going to get random numbers. So that's a, a very quick way to generate a random sampling from your data.